Hi friends, in this video, let's talk about max concurrent executables property in the SSIS. This is one of the important property in SSIS, which helps us to run the number of tasks in the parallel. It really helps you to improve the performance of the package. It is one of the important property. The default value of the package is minus one. The default value for the SSIS package is minus one. So let me show you what happens if it is minus one and it is configurable to any value in SSIS. It really helps you to run the multiple tasks at runtime. It helps you to improve the performance of the package. It completes the package in a quicker amount of time. If you do not have any dependency between the tasks. So that's how the max concurrent executables property is going to work in the SSIS. So I am going to take in this illustration, I am going to take execute SQL task for our examples. Here I am not going to talk about much on the execute SQL task, but I need a query to execute in the execute SQL task. So let me show you the query which I am planning to use in the execute SQL task. So if you see, this is the query which I am planning to use in our execute SQL task. If you see the query, select star from EMP, wait for delay. 20 seconds. I am intentionally asking my task to wait 20 seconds. So this is the query which I am planning to run in the SSIS package. So let me go to SSIS package. So this is an empty SSIS package. So which is going to execute for my example. Let me copy the query first. Yes. Let's come here and let's go to the SSIS toolbox. Drag and drop the execute SQL task and let's Double click on it. Let's configure. Let's uh, show the connection, new connection. Here I already have an established connection in the left side. Let me take this, click on OK. And this is the statement which I am planning to execute it. Let me paste it. It's a very basic query which I am planning to show you for the example. Let's click on OK. Let's click on OK. So this is the one task I, ha I have in my package as of now. Let me copy this. Okay, so I am going to take that up to 11 tasks or 10 tasks. Yes, if you see this, I have around a couple of 10 to 20 tasks are there. So let me just adjust uh, to show you in single window. So that ex uh, explanation is little easy for me. Let me arrange these tasks in a better way. If you see this, let me again, let me arrange a little better way to show you all the tasks in a single window. I can keep some time maybe there also. Let's find. Yes, that's fine. That's fine. If you see, yes, let me get this. Yes. Now, if you see around all uh, 11 tasks or 12 tasks, you can see in a single window just to show you that I just arranged in a order to show you the, all the tasks in a single. Okay. Now, if you see this each and every task which is having the same query which I showed you. This is a query. Select star from employee. No luck. Wait for delay. 20 seconds go. Okay. Now, where can I see the property? Let's save this package. Where can I see the property? Max concurrent executables. So if you go to the properties of the package, there you can see that property. Let's right click on the empty space. Click on sec uh, check for the properties. Click on that. So there you can see the property max concurrent executables. If you see this, this is a property default value is minus one. So what happens if the default value is minus one? If you see my window, I have total 12 tasks are there. If you count it one, two, something, I have around 12 total tasks. The default value is minus one. So if I execute by default with minus one, 
it is going to execute six tasks at a time why six is so number of processors are four in my machine plus number of tasks is two total six tasks are going to execute at a time now so if i start it it is going to start six if i go with the default value it is going to execute six tasks at a time by default let me run this and show you that now if you see this yes do you see this one two three four five six six tasks has been started with a default value can i change that value yes you want to execute only two tasks at a time parallel yes you can make it as two if you keep any value instead of default value that many number of tasks are going to execute so let me stop this or let, let it finish it and let me arrange a different value for the max concurrent executable property so if you see all together at a time six task is executing it is parallel execution now let me once it is done let me go and change the property of the max concurrent executables now it is completed so i am not focusing on the output of the task let me go to the property and make it as some different value let's go to the properties so there instead of max concurrent executables minus 1 i am going to make it as 2 or 3 so i made it as 2 so it means that only two tasks are going to execute at a time let me start this package and observe very closely i made it as 2 now if you observe very closely at a time i can see only two tasks are running okay so after these two again two again two it will finish 12 will finish two 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 something six k phases it is going to finish all my tasks in the package so this is how my concurrent executable property is going to execute can i make it as a 10 at a time yes 12 at a time yes you can make it so let me start stop this so i don't want to wait till the uh, all 12 tasks finishes i want to change the property of the max concurrent executables so let me go there and go to the properties can i make it as six now yes obviously instead of two you can make it as six or five or seven or eight whatever it is so i am making a six now if i start this only six tasks are going to execute at a time let us see now yes six tasks like it, it randomly picks the task and it is started executing those six now after this six finish again it, it takes a remaining a six so this is how now let me stop this and i am going to take the value as either eight or ten let me take it as ten so let me go to the properties of the package again here instead of six i am making as a ten it means that all 10 tasks are going to execute not all out of 12 10 tasks are getting executed at a time if you see this let me start the package yeah if you see this so all these four these four last two in the middle you have two tasks that are not getting executed so can i execute all the tasks at a time yes of course you can do that so after this execution i will make it as 12 if you make it as 12 all it is getting executed at a time so let it finish this yes so at the end how much time my package has taken to execute complete is you can see in the execution results i will show you that as well so let it finish this yes it is completed so now if you want to see how much time my package has taken to execute is go to the execution results come to the end so there you can see this this is the total time it has taken 41 seconds okay so this is how i am going to set now let me make it as 12 now go to the properties of the package here instead of 10 make it as 12 now the number of tasks in my package is 12 i am making it as 12 it means that i am going to set all in one time execution let's save this now let's run this if you see this all 12 has been picked up at a time if you see this all are executing now now let it run and wait for a 
while to see the total time taken to execute the entire package so earlier so i kept as a 10 so total time taken to execute as 41 seconds now let us see how much time it is going to take let's stop this and go to the execution results scroll to the bottom there you can see this 20 seconds it has been taken that now you can really see this how much performance we are improving now so earlier it has taken like a, if it goes by default six tasks at a time six plus six 20 seconds if you make it as a two task so then two two to six phases 120 seconds now it is 20 seconds again it purely depends on the system resources as well so if you keep like a hundred tasks at a time if the system is not capable of running that many tasks at a time then again it may delay so it may not help you to improve so can i keep a, a different number other than 12 can i keep as a, a 20 here so let's keep it as 20 and see how much time it is taking let us run this so the number of tasks in the package is only 12 i made it as 20 it does not make any much difference if you keep the higher number the system is capable in running then it runs it even tomorrow if you had more tasks it also executes in parallel that is the reason of keeping high number but again so while keeping the number let's think about the system resources as well now let's go to the time consumption here execution results let's scroll down if you see here total is 20 seconds only even though you keep higher number than the number of tasks it takes the single turn time only so tomorrow if you add some other task it is going to execute in parallel so rather than keeping a fixed number now so you are be keeping here as a higher number and tomorrow you don't need to change that number that is the intention of keeping but it is up to you how you manage it it purely depends on the system resources as well so that's how my parallel execution is going to happen in the package this is what the max concurrent executables property in the ssis package this is one of the important property in the ssis please write any questions if you have on sql or msbi to training to sql at the rate gmail.com that's it thank you for watching please subscribe and share with all your friends that's it